All right, so today we're gonna to talk about how to get stronger as a beginner. So a beginner weightlifter, a beginner powerlifter, or just someone that's a beginner to strength training in general, all right? Uh, myself, I'm a strength and conditioning coach, and I've been lucky enough to work with a lot of performance pathways for junior athletes. So athletes all the way from 11 up to 18, so people that are brand new to the gym, and I've got a lot of them very, very strong alongside training 18, 20 hours a week for their respective sports. So I know a lot about this field, a lot about this topic, um, a lot about getting people very strong as beginners. So there's basically three things you want to do, okay? The first is just to start where you are at and to acknowledge that you are not an intermediate or an advanced athlete. So if you see a lot of these programs online, they've got a ton of bun a bunch of training volume, loads of sets, loads of reps, loads of different variety of exercises, register that you don't need that stuff yet, okay? So the first rule is know where you're at, just keep it simple, okay? Which brings me to point number two. When I talk about keeping it simple, what I mean is choose big compound exercises that are gonna give you the biggest bang for your buck and focus on those, okay? So you probably don't need to do 10 different leg exercises. What you really need is to pick a squat variation, it might be a goblet squat, uh, a back squat, maybe not a front squat yet because you probably don't have the mobility or the movement. Pick a simple squat variation and just work on three sets of five, five sets of five, three sets of six, those kind of rep ranges, nice and simple, just work on grooving that technique. Um, you can even do, honestly, three or four sets of 10, a little bit lighter if you just wanna work on getting those movement patterns in, that's completely fine. You're gonna get stronger. Basically, whatever you do, as long as you do it consistently, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, you're gonna pick like a squat pattern. I would pick some kind of upper body pushing pattern. So it's gonna be like a bench press, maybe a dumbbell bench press, maybe even press ups. They work completely fine, really underrated exercise. You're gonna want some kind of upper body pulling pattern. So it might be a dumbbell row, might be a barbell row. Um, you've also got things like pull-ups you can chuck in, overhead presses, but basic compound exercises. Okay, so these exercises are gonna use multiple muscle groups, multiple joints, um, just gonna give you the biggest bang for your buck time-wise, you know. You'd have to pick loads of different stuff. So you've got a squat pattern, you've got an upper body push, an upper body pull, and then I would probably put in some kind of hinge pattern. So that might be a basic deadlift, it might be a Romanian deadlift, um, even cowbell swings, you know, they'll they'll all do the job um, of getting you that bit stronger. They're the movement patterns I would choose, just nice and simple, big compound movements, okay? So that's my first two rules. You've got about keeping things simple for where you're at, picking exercises that are gonna offer you the big bang for your buck, so those compound exercises. And then my third sort of uh, guideline, my third sort of thing to work on, is just consistency, all right? Like time and time again, the biggest thing I see beginners do in the gym, the biggest mistake that they make when they're trying to get really strong is just being way too like over the top at the start, like trying to train like six, seven times a week or do double day sessions and just silly stuff like that. You don't need to do it, all right? Just pay three days a week and just get in consistently, okay? If you wanna move up to four days after a few months, completely cool, but just start on three days a week consistently and see if you can just get into the gym or get into, you know, get wherever you've got your weights, if it's your garage, whatever, and just consistently hit your sessions, hit those big movements for the sets and the reps, you know, those lower sets and reps, sort of, you know, three sets of five, do that over and over and over again for multiple months, and I can guarantee you, you are gonna get stronger, okay? As long as you are not sleeping like crap and eating like crap, you are gonna get a ton stronger just doing that. It's just the consistency of hammering the basics, okay? So don't get distracted doing all this sexy stuff, this all this stuff you see all the advanced people doing, because there's time for that, you know? There's time for that later when the progress you make now slows down, but I promise you, like the progress that you're gonna make as a beginner doing this basic stuff is gonna be faster than any other progress you're gonna make trying to do this advanced stuff, okay? We only introduce the advanced stuff when you need it to eke out that last little bit of progress. Right now, just keep everything basic, stick to the essentials, and I promise you, you're gonna make progress, okay? Uh, if you enjoyed this, if you could just take, you know, 10 seconds just to hit the like button, it really does a solid for like the YouTube algorithm stuff. It just gets this out to more people. Um, if you want to get more content like this, feel free to subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video. See you there.